Okay, the first thing you do, it's very important, uh, you drain the oil. Once the oil is drained, then you're safe to start working on it. Uh, the second thing you do, you have to dislocate the petrol tank. And before we do that, you have to take this pipe out. And before you take the pipe out, make sure you have a ready small screw, which is a six mil. As you pull it out, the petrol will come out. As you can see, and straight away just lock it up. Simple as that. Okay, the next thing you do, there is four cuts holding it from one on each end. They have to come out. Okay. Once you dismount to these four bolts, easily the petrol tank should just slip out. There we are. Simple as that. The next thing we do, this is where the governor is. Okay, now you want to take this out. All you do is just pull it, out, pull it out and it comes off. The other hand is attached with these springs which they go on a carburetor and you just simply take them out. That's out of the way which you're not going to need it. The only time you're going to need this, which I can show you on my next uh, shots, <clears throat> if you're connecting this back onto the carburetor as a linkage. But that's not what I'm going to do personally myself. So we put this away for now. Okay, the next thing we do, by then the oil is already drained. Okay, now we want to take the front cover off. Now, not to damage anything, make sure you take the dipsticks off. Put them in a safe area again, out of the way. Okay, the next thing you want to do, unbolt all these nuts. Now, the other thing you want to watch out before we pull this front cover off, there's a seal here as you can see. You make sure the seal is still remains in the attached attack position. Okay, you don't want to put it off. And the second thing is make sure you got yourself a thin ruler or maybe uh, one of the scrapers that to hold the camshaft. Now, the best thing to do, you bring it close and you start tapping. Okay, let's make sure the gear is pushed in like that. Okay. And there we are. Now, unlikely to Honda engines, this governor normally is, if I can show you, it's right on the bottom in there. That's where they are. Okay, and this is the arm which is set further back and it's controlled there, which is a little bit more difficult to take out. But with the Lonsin engine, as you can see, it's right at the front. So you take the cover off. Okay, let's bring it here. Okay, and we're gonna work on this unit. But if you can go back here and make sure that the timing is all set in position on this. Okay, you can see the dot there. That's where the timing is. So we're gonna to try to let me see, turn the engine around till the dot reaches there. Hold on. Okay, okay, you can see the dot facing to dot. Now, for any reason, if that dot is not lining up, that means the timing is out. You've got to make sure that the two dots 
okay, are lined up as they are. Okay, so we've got no problem there. Okay, right. Uh, this is the part which it clicks in, okay, and it keeps flickering it out. This is what it does. If I can show you on here. Now, that's the parts inside there. Now, when this is spin, watch those two arms opening out. And that's what it stops the RPM. Okay, now, before we start taking that out, there is two ways. One, banging it, and you might have a damage, which if you damage it, then you're going to have to drill it, tap it, and replace it with the bolt. Now, in my case, this is what I've done. You can clearly have a look at that. I simply bend it round, okay, made it really flat and bend it fraction so I can get to the bottom. But first, what we need to do, take this part out. If I can have some light at the top, please, yeah. Okay, now, this is the part we need to bring out first. Okay, now, you got to be careful because you force it slightly and one from the other end is not so difficult. Okay, one side is out. That's it. Just popped out, as you can see it. This is where it sets in there, right? We got it out. Now the next thing we want, okay, if you look in there down the bottom, you can see that, uh, okay, there's a washer there, okay spring load so I'm gonna to try to put this underneath hook it and pull it up if I can push it underneath keep that down okay make sure it's coming out yes it's working just so let it move up. Yeah, it's moving. I don't know if you can see clearly there. It's about to come out. There it is. If I can put it there. Okay. That's the part which is holding that together. Now I should be able to pull this apart. Okay, as you can see, it's out. Now, now I took that out nice and easy we can keep these components together in the event that you need to put it back it's still in one piece you can tag it together and you got no lost and okay. now the next thing you want to do you want to make sure make sure there is no other components left in it uh, if you look closely there, you don't think there is anything else left there, but there is. There's a washer there, which I'm going to try to lift that up as well. Okay. This is the final part. A lot of people, they don't notice that. They leave it inside, and it gets tangled up with the sprockets, with the tooth. Okay, and it can damage. Once this is in there, and it spins around with the oil, and it gets in one of these areas, if it gets in there, goodbye to your engine. So make sure that little washer is out. Okay, so it looks like we got all the components out. We are free and ready to put it back on. But in this case, okay, as you can see, this will touch on the tooth if it's left on its own because it's out of position. So, you're going to make sure, okay, that you locate it in this position. Otherwise, if you can remember, clockwise, if you lock it clockwise, okay, Okay, you lock it clockwise, 
you put this spindle back on and you tighten it and once this is tightened up okay it's not going to go anywhere that's the far as it will move and it's not doing anything at all you're stuck there so you can either do that okay or because I'm not going to use that or what you can do you pull this out from here okay and turn the engine around first like that so it's well out of the way there we are and then should be able to pull it out like that okay once this is out you need to block this and before you do that make sure under there there's another washer if you look there underneath I'm going to pull it off there's a washer which this washer goes in there and holds it tight okay what you can do get the same diameter nut and bolt and just put it from underneath up the top and tighten it up simple as that that's it that's a double lock it's not going to go nowhere as you can see it's nice and flat finish it's away from the uh, tooth okay but make sure the bolt size is not any longer than an inch okay the reason for that when you replace your petrol tank back on there so you can see it's missing the area you got plenty plenty of gap there okay okay right. that's about just over a quarter of an inch which is more than enough that's enough for that it's fine okay the next thing we're gonna do do a little bit more cleaning in here and then replace the cover on okay as you can see I just uh, finished 15 minutes ago sealing it with the instant gasket which uh, it replaces the original gasket what do you do you wait 15 minutes which is hand dry as you can see okay and it's ready to put back on again right Okay, now I'm ready to tighten the bolts up and the job is done. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.